What's going on, guys? It is Constantine, aka Smart Cod Commentaries, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a Moab by V S I Q U E 909. Uh, he's one of my subscribers, and he let me use this gameplay from him on Fallen with the PP 90 M1. <laughs> PP, golden PP. Anyway, um, yes, so uh, quick little bits of news. This is my Saturday Smart Cod Commentary. Um, it's going to be about the Big Bang and the creation of the universe. And, um, yeah, also I'm still looking for someone to possibly edit that little mini -tage. I have lots of clips on my channel I uploaded, and uh, if anyone wants to do that, feel free to do it and send me it. So, um, yeah, or maybe make an intro or something, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, yeah, uh, let's get into the commentary, pretty much. Uh, to make it simple for you guys, uh, to make it really simple, and then I'm going to an in-depth uh, afterwards, there's a really, really, really big boom 14 million years ago, 14 billion years ago really really big boom and um, everything that was everything that's around today was created back then and it's the big boom is still expanding outwards is in, in short really simply how to how it happened and um, now to get into a little bit more depth um, there are a couple laws of, of, of physics and, and the universe that uh, state that um, uh, matter cannot be created or destroyed and um, also, so to understand the Big Bang, you have to. It's actually the Big Bang theory is one of the most um, one of the most um, questioned theories ever because there's so many ways and so many questions that are that have become uh, um, that have just formed after the Big Bang theory. For example, um, since it is now commonly believed that energy cannot be created or destroyed, or, or mass cannot be created or destroyed, uh, that how how the universe was formed, how the Big Bang happened, because before the Big Bang, it's believed that there was absolutely nothing there. And after the Big Bang, there was a huge, huge explosion that created everything. And um, pretty much uh, what is believed is uh, a little, little tiny speck, a super, super small speck, smaller than an atom, smaller than the smallest part of an atom, was super, super dense with energy. It was extremely, extremely hot. Um, higher than any temperature you could possibly think of, and heavier than anything you could possibly imagine, and it was extremely tiny. It took up something a, a millionth of a millionth of a millionth of a billionth of an inch, and that's how uh, what's called Discovery Channel described it. And um, pretty much, uh, it became superheated, and when it was superheated, it just exploded, huge, huge, huge explosion, and um, such great force that nothing, honestly, ever could could compare to what happened in the Big Bang and um, every single atom that was that is around today every atom that makes up your body the air you're breathing the computer you're watching this on or iPod or whatever you're watching this on everything every single atom was created as a direct result of the Big Bang now uh, Albert Einstein actually had the theory um, E equals MC squared which states that uh, energy can be converted to mass and mass can be converted to energy but but um yeah, so <clears throat> in the short, short period directly after the huge explosion, energy was transferring back from, and, and energy was turning into uh, into mass and back into energy. And it was just every single thing that had been created from this, uh, from the explosion, directly after the explosion was just pure energy, pure energy. And it was extremely hot. And as it started to cool down, excuse me. As it started to cool down, particles were able to form, and, and stars were able to form. But that was only after the formation of gravity. Now, the gravity also needed to be in a perfect balance. Otherwise, really, we, we would not have been created. Because um, think about it. If there was not enough gravity, if there's too little gravity, there would be no forces holding the sun together or the universe together. There would be, no, be no gravity. And there's the Moab right there. But there would be nothing holding together the... The, the planets and anything like that, and if there's too much gravity, everything would just be piled together and, and everything would be sucked into black holes and all that stuff, so, and there's the Moab going off, and that's probably the first time I've ever, ever seen anybody not knife the air or do anything like that in, in during a Moab, but anyway, so yeah, the, the gravity, a perfect balance of gravity was created, and also, um, a perfect amount of, of matter was created because there's uh, matter and antimatter, and uh, there just happened to be, lucky for us, there happened to be more matter than antimatter uh, after the explosion, which just which is crazy. If you think about the chances that that the Earth would be created, it's just insane. So um, that's pretty much uh, what happened in the Big Bang and how the Earth was created. If you have any more questions, 
um, leave it in a comment. I I probably do a follow up video that I'll release uh, the day after to the day after the day I'm recording this uh, on Sunday. If you guys don't understand it, so if you saw the video at this point, leave a comment saying Moab. Okay, peace. Jokes. I'm not done. I uh, I definitely did not cover what I wanted to cover there. So um, yeah, pretty much uh, the, the antimatter was uh, overwhelmed by the the matter, and uh, yeah. So after millions of years, when everything was finally cooling down, particles started to form, which turned into, which grouped into atoms, the basic atoms, like the first atoms, like um, like like hydrogen, and helium, and lithium, and and um, and pretty much this guy uh, Hubble in the in the 1900s said that um, he was commonly believed in the, in the early 1900s that um, the the universe was not moving, all the stars were not moving, and this guy Hubble looked into a telescope. And he said that you, there's no way that this is the all these 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 stars and everything is are, are, are uh, all these stars and galaxies are moving away from the Earth at an extremely fast rate, and um, this caused like a huge like stir, and everyone was like, uh, everyone was like amazed by this, and um, and it turns out that the universe is still expanding into um, into the into infinity, I guess it's it's, it's expanding into nothing. And um, that's just amazing. Like we just try to think, like when when is infinity? What can we see? In, can we see infinity? What does it look like? Is it possible to ever reach infinity? Is it ever possible to reach the end? And uh, we know it's fourteen billion years old, and uh, the, the universe. And uh, technically, you're looking back in time when you're looking outwards, because actually some of the stars that are really, really, really far away, if you look into a microscope to see them, you, the light took years to get to you years millions of light years to get like well not millions of light years but it took years and years and years for that light to reach the farthest parts of the universe to get to us now and uh when you look out into space you're looking back in time because you're looking closer to that the original edge of that huge explosion which is crazy and um so yeah if you watched up to this point leave a comment saying um pp90m1 and uh if you have any comments leave a Leave it, uh, any questions, leave a comment, and I'll personally answer it for you. And I might do a follow-up video, as I said before.